Um, anyway, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, there's a quick thing that I got to do here, or a quick, quick, fun, exciting moment. Um, remember when Eli Lilly and company had a fake Eli Lilly and company tweet that was created by a Hasanabi head, I think, actually? The we are excited to announce insulin is free now. And that $8 tweet, because uh, that person had bought uh, a Twitter Blue subscription, cost Eli Lilly $15 billion in market cap. It eventually led to an insulin price cap. I think we could safely call it the greatest ship post in the history of the internet. Eli Lilly will now cap the out-of-pocket cost of insulin at $35 a month, the drug maker says. Um, of course, it's not the tweet itself. They're, they're, it's not the tweet itself that caused this. It's not. But we'd like to think. But we'd like to think it did. But it's not. Um, there are more details on this as well. But it's only on Eli Lilly insulin. It's not on all insulin, obviously. But um, yes, Eli Lilly has announced that it is cutting its Ex insulin drug prices. Maker Eli Lilly announcing it's cutting the list price of its most commonly prescribed. Which allows the uh, the diabetics in this community to buy a five dollar a month subscription with uh, further ease, especially to avoid the top of the hour ad break, which comes at the top of the hour. For five dollars a month, you can avoid the top of the hour ad break, right? That's true. Or you can do it with uh, a Twitch Prime, which is free. Um, or you can get gifted a sub if you're lucky, right? Uh, get gifted a sub, and uh, you will be able to avoid the top of the hour ad break. Here's the three minute ad break now. I'm a type 1 diabetic and Carl Jacobs already got me. Well, you've already subscribed to me, so it doesn't seem like it matters. All right, let's take a look at the rest of it. Isn't this just all insulin under Medicare? No, that's IRA. Biden's IRA price caps all insulin under Medicare at $35. But, but Eli Lilly on top of that is saying that if you have private insurance, they will, I mean, you're, you will have... Your, your most commonly prescribed insulin from Eli Lilly, if you have Eli Lilly uh, uh, insulin, it'll be capped at $35. Prescribed insulin by 70%. And, and capping out-of-pocket costs at $35 a month. Such a relief. It's a huge, significant step in making this um, disease manageable. Anne Marie Gibson sons both use Eli Lilly insulin for their diabetes. They spoke to NBC uh, News in December as well, costs in America soared for the life saving drug. I'm so angry. It's exhausting. In January, the Inflation Reduction Act imposed a monthly cap on insulin costs for seniors on Medicare, but millions of younger diabetics were still paying much higher rates. It seems like they're self-regulating to avoid actual legislation passing because there's finally some momentum in Congress for drug caps. Um, that's probably one of the reasons for it. This is the exact same thing that like uh, Amazon did. If you recall, when Bernie Sanders uh, wanted to do legislation that singled out Amazon, which was like raise the Amazon wages to $15 act or whatever, $15 an hour act or whatever it was, Amazon made the move on its own internally so that they could actually wire it internally and, and uh, reconfigure their pay structure by uh, still technically cutting uh, benefits uh, from uh, workers, benefits such as um, a, a fat compensation package that, that allowed you to get like uh, additional um, stock price, uh, additional stocks from the company, for example. So, um, companies do this kind of thing in the face of legal scrutiny because they want to make sure that it's not uh they want to make sure that it's not done in a way that actually harms the profit margins which is hilarious because like this is what we talk about all the time price leadership happens in this industry as well which means other brands will most likely follow uh follow suit too um, but yeah, it's, it's just the government, even, even under the threat that the government is going to do something, corporations will turn around and fucking take actions in their hands. No IRL today, Sag. I am going to, I am going to Harajuku myself. Shut the fuck up. I'm going to do IRL today. Stop. Oh my God. Shut the fuck up.
Oh. <sighs> people keep coming in and being like bro i can't believe it you're just not doing it you're not doing it you're not doing it you're not doing it you're not doing irl streams i'm gonna do it anyway david dayan um interesting he explains the delay on the list price cuts uh, to late 2023 it's meant to fend off the inflation cap in the ira so in this sense policy working beyond its narrow public mechanism and out into the private market Correction to one part of this is actually an American rescue plan proposal that eliminated the cap on Medicaid drug rebates. It's not the IRA inflation policy. It's a change of the Medicaid inflation cap that was passed in 2021 as a part of the American Rescue Act and scheduled to go into effect in 2024. Part of what was used to finance the ARA. We get the implications, but materialists will help a significant portion of the country, right? Yes. It does. It is tremendous. It's incredible. It's really good. Um, I love it. I'm a fan. Okay? Um, you will never catch me saying that this is a bad thing. It's a good thing. And it is directly related to congressional action. As we talk about all the time, legislators act, companies react. The move comes after years of political and let's get more of this going and patient pressure. I think we all have heard enough about insulin affordability here in America. We should be able to solve this problem ourselves. Eli Lilly's cap automatically applies to people with private insurance. Those without coverage will be eligible as long as they sign up for a savings card through the company. But only about 30 percent of the nation's 8.4 million diabetics who rely on insulin get it from Eli Lilly. Do you expect to see the other drug makers following suit? I certainly hope that they do. I think that um, in general, all of the insulins that the drug manufacturers make um, should be affordable and accessible. Today, insulin makers Sanofi and Novo Nordisk pointed to their own savings plans for participants. For mom Anne Marie Gibson, today is a good start to saving lives. Rationing insulin gets scary. Some people uh, I need, no I need your help with the, with the lighting. It's like super blown out again. All right. Your sons now face a future where a vital prescription won't carry such a hefty price. Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News. To tonight, it's being hailed.